Medal deciding day at the 2013 470 World Championships in La Rochelle, France, with the top eight boats in the 470 men and 470 women events ready for the challenge of the short course 25-minute double point scoring medal race to decide the gold, silver and bronze medalists. Alette and Powery, the Olympic gold medalists, led the 470 women into the medal race with France's Lecointre and Geron close on points. Belcher and Ryan were at the front of the 470 men, with Greece's Mantis and Kyalis just seven points behind. The 470 men were up on the track first. Mantis and Kyalis were on their fifth attempt to win a World Championship medal, and the closest they have been for their goal. The 2012 Olympic bronze medalist Calabresa and De La Fuente are yet to secure a World Championship medal and faced an even tougher battle to step up to the podium, sitting six points behind the Greeks. After a high-scoring last day of finals, France's Le Boucher and Le Bair had their work cut out to claim a medal, with only a top finish set to guarantee a place on the podium. Belcher was on a mission to secure his fourth consecutive 470 World Championship title, so a fight to the end was on the cards, particularly with the Greek pair. The 470 men medal race got underway at 1450 hours, with Greece finding the best speed off the line from their pin end start. Argentina was right next to them, but unable to move ahead, tacked off to the right, which proved to be the right choice. The Australians, along with Francis Bouvet and Mion, and the Greeks sailed to the left and were the last to tag. Leading the fleet to the windward mark, Le Boucher and Le Bair were executing their medal-winning strategy perfectly. Great Britain's Patience and Glanfield, who had an outside chance at a medal, were in second place, with the USA in third. Coming up to the mark, the Argentinians had to cross behind all the fleet and suddenly found themselves dropped from fourth place and in with a shot at the bronze medal, to last overall. With the French leading, the silver was now in their hands. On to the downwind leg and the Greeks and the Aussies sailed fast and managed to recover. So by the downwind gate, while the French had increased their lead, these two were in fifth and sixth. A fierce battle was on between the Greeks and French, with Mantis and Kyalis desperate to finish in fourth place to secure the silver medal, and the Australians chasing the Greeks hard in order to ensure their gold. The French were in total control and safely secured the race win with a massive lead, with the British in second place and New Zealand Snow Hansen and Wilcox in third. Belcher and Ryan finished in sixth place, which was more than enough to crown them as the 2013 470 world champions, a year to the day that Belcher became the 2012 Olympic champion. Labouchin and Lebert secured silver and the Greeks bronze. This is, uh, this is a big one for Will and I. Um, we had a bit of pressure coming into this, this week with uh, great results this season. And, uh, you know, to, to win your first World Championships as a new team, it's really special. Um, and, uh, you know, Will, Will sailed fantastic this week and uh, really, really happy where we're at. Um, but to win my fourth straight, it's um, you know, unbelievable and uh, we look forward to, uh, you know, to, to the future and for us it's a long-term target, so I think uh, more relief than anything else. On to the 470 women medal race and all the teams chose the race committee end of the start line. A penalty for the Chinese 2012 Olympic team of Wang and Huang at the start of the race meant they started last. Austria's Vadlau and Ogar, along with Slovenia's Marak and Makarol, tacked immediately to the right, with the Austrians giving it their all to beat their closest rivals, France's Lecointre and Geron. An amazing upwind leg put the Austrians in the lead, with China's Yu and Yu in second place, Australia's 2008 Olympic gold medalist Rashishi and Crew Cook in third and the Kiwis in fourth place and assured of the gold medal. 
By the downwind gate, Zhu and Yu had taken the lead, with Vadlau and Ogar now trying to outpace Alet and Pauri, who were closing on in. Going into the medal race in third and with a two-point deficit to the French, Vadlau and Ogar were desperate to keep a boat between themselves and Lecointre and Geron to secure the silver medal. Alet and Pauri did not need to win the medal race to secure their world championship title, but they won it anyway. China's Zhu and Yu crossed the finish line in second place, with the Austrians finishing in third to secure the silver medal. After their disastrous start, Wang and Huang managed to recover back up to finish in sixth place and deliver a historic moment for their country. I guess we got the gold medal last year and we, we stuffed up the 2012 Worlds as well, so we're really happy to knock this one off and get it off our backs, so um, yeah, we're super happy. Yeah. Gosh, what is the next, I guess? We, uh, got qualification and things next year for the Olympics, so hopefully we'll make that. Um, but yeah, we've just counted down to Rio, I suppose. Um, yeah, so we've got a long way to go between now and then, but uh, yeah, always got little things to work on as we go, and uh, yeah, just keep on, keep on tracking. <laughs> a real celebration at the closing ceremony, with champagne spraying as teams were awarded medals. A special tribute to the gold medalists who each received a trophy presented on behalf of Francois Hollande, the President of France. That was it.